if you are working from home, chances are you have two PCs, one for dedicated work and one for personal use. You deal with different display cables, managing two sets of keyboards and mice, I know it's a hassle. But what if I told you there is a solution to this? Let me introduce you to my latest addition to the PC setup, your green KVM switch. It connects your same monitor, keyboard and mouse to two computers at the same time and gives you the ability to change between them. Throughout this review, I will show you the unboxing of the product, explain specifications of it and discuss advantages and disadvantages of owning it for a few weeks now. But first, for those unfamiliar, what exactly is a KVM switch? KVM stands for keyboard, video and mouse. It allows you to use multiple devices with one set of keyboard video and mouse. There are many options on KVM switches online, especially in platforms like Amazon, but many of the affordable options are from unfamiliar brands thus I don't trust their products. Proven and better KVM switches are generally a lot expensive than the affordable ones and I don't have the budget to spend on a KVM switch for that amount of money. So I was looking at other affordable options and I just came across with the Ugreen KVM switches. I found the one suits my setup and I just immediately bought it. When the product arrived, I was surprised with the contents in the box. Everything in it is well packaged and exceeded my expectations as a 30 euro product. After opening up the box, we got two HDMI cables, one KVM switch, two USB extension cables, and one control switch. I really love the quality of HDMI 2.0 cables. If it weren't included in the box, I would have bought it separately. It's a great addition that they included it. They also included a control switch, which also feels good. It's made up from plastic material, but has a nice tactile feedback to it. The USB cable is similar to the HDMI cable. It feels premium and feels like it would last a long time. KVM switch itself is made up with plastic material as well, but it feels well put together and feels like it will last a long time. As for the specs, it comes with two sets of HDMI and USB inputs on top. On the right, there is two USB ports. On the bottom, there is two additional USB ports and one control port. And on the left, there is an HDMI out that goes to your monitor. Since we mentioned monitors, the switch I'm reviewing today supports 4K 30Hz outputs. In my current setup, I have 1080p 144Hz monitor and with the included HDMI 2.0 cable and the KVM switch itself, it supports 144Hz at 1080p. To talk more on cables, the switch only supports USB 2.0, which is, I think, a missed opportunity from the Ugreen side. By the way, if you consider buying this product, I left the links down below in the description with the addition of other great KVM switches as well. If you purchase any product listed down there, you will pay the same price through the Amazon, but some of that money will go supporting this channel, which really helps small channels like mine grow on YouTube. Your support will be appreciated and thank you in advance. For me, the main purpose of buying a KVM switch is to reduce the clutter on my desk. I looked at other alternatives as well and most of them haven't included a control switch, which feels pointless to me if the KVM switch and all the extended cables are on top of my desk and I'm pressing it just to switch up the PCs. The green switch that I bought had this feature and it positively affected my buying decision. With the added extended switch, I can now place that on my desk and place the original KVM switch under the desk so I can cable manage it and without seeing any cables on my desk. As I said, it's the main purpose of me buying a KVM switch to reduce the clutter on the desk, so it just does the job really well. Second advantage is the included accessories. I haven't bought other KVM switches before, so I don't know if they included uh, all the accessories in the box, but the Ugreen switch I bought already included the HDMI cables, USB extension cables, even the control switch to put on your desk. It's just all in one package that you set up very, very quickly when that product arrives. You don't need to buy anything else. Even the included HDMI cables are really high quality and I'm surprised by them and they already add HDMI 2.0 cables so I can 
uh, get the highest performance from my 1080p 144Hz monitor, which is great. Third advantage is the price, which is 33 euros, and you can get 30 euro with the coupon from Amazon. And if this KVM switch is expensive for you, or if you don't need an HDMI out, or if you don't need any USB out, you can have a look at their other options from their user catalog. I'm sure you will find something that suits your needs. Uh, there are many options including only HDMI switches or only uh, USB switches or combined switches and I'm sure you can find uh, the one that suits your needs. Man, this video almost became a sponsored video by EU Green. I wish it was, but I was just experimenting with this product and I really loved it, so I just wanted to share it. We can go back into the disadvantages of the product and talk more about uh, its limitations. I'm daily driving this KVM switch for some time now using my Windows PC as you can see here and M2 MacBook Pro as you can see here. Switching from Mac to Windows feels almost instant, like it took one or two seconds to switch from that, but the other way around from um, Windows to Mac it took a little bit more than that. It took 5 to 10 seconds to switch from Windows to Mac. It's probably due to the adapter that I connect to MacBook Pro to have the USB capability. But in any case, if the instantaneous uh, switch from one PC to the another is important to you, you might want to consider looking more detailed on this topic. All that said, if there is two Windows PCs that you want to switch from, I think it won't really be a problem but if you have the mac in the between you might want to look at it another limitation of this ugreen switch is it only supports usb 2.0 and it doesn't support usb 3.0 or other alternatives like type c so this brings to the table the slow transfer speed especially if you connect drives to your kvm switch to transfer files from one pc to another this product is like a regular KVM switch that allows you to use keyboards, mouse, other accessories like printer or small USB drives, etc. Other than that, I think we covered it all, folks. Thank you for watching this video. To learn more about my setup, head over to this video where you can see the upgrade I made to my setup recently. Also, if you like this content, please consider subscribing to the channel and see you in the next video.